Many of you know this block, right? Brought into the game during the 1.9 pre-release, mycelium was labeled as the new dirt block found in the mushroom fields, more commonly known as the mushroom islands because they always generate as islands in the ocean. In this biome, and some others, you can find brown and red mushrooms as well as giant mushrooms naturally occurring. However, it is the only place where you can naturally find mushroom cows and mycelium, but why did we need a new dirt block? Continue watching to find out. Hello everybody! My name is Oshi or Oceana and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time watching, which it very well may be. Today I would like to welcome you all to Minecraft Science, where I teach you the hidden truth behind this world of blocks. The truth is, mycelium truly is not dirt at all. It is a network of small interconnected tubes called hyphae found in fungi. You can think of it as roots for the fungi. You see, fungi, like mushrooms, are heterotrophs. In short terms, this means that they consume other organisms for nutrients and energy. Heterotrophs have three different strategies for feeding, holozoic, saprophytic, and parasitic. We will mainly be focusing on saprophytic for right now. The saprophytic strategy breaks down and absorbs molecules or nutrients from dead organic matter. Mycelium would grow into this dead matter and secrete enzymes breaking down complex organic compounds into simpler molecules, which will then be absorbed into the mycelium slash hyphae, allowing the fungus to grow and reproduce. Now, where does this tie into Minecraft? Well, in Minecraft, mycelium interacts with its environments just like in real life, and this is the result of the saprophytic feeding strategy. Like in real life, the mycelium block spreads throughout the dirt blocks, infecting the dirt with mycelium, which again is not dirt, but a network of hyphae. So where grass blocks will spread its grass on top of dirt blocks, mycelium will spread its hyphae into the dirt, leading to a new texture of dirt the same dirt just infested with mushroom roots. Now why is this important? Well, because fungi break down and absorb nutrients from dead organic matter, they need a larger surface area to move towards this matter. By continuing to invade and grow into more dirt blocks, the fungi is attaining more space to grasp onto organic matter to turn into nutrients for the mushrooms in this biome to survive thus attaining the heterotroph name. But how else would this make sense? Well, another fun fact about mycelium is that it makes up the wood wide web. This is the idea that a fungal network will interact with not only the fungus, but other organisms around their ecosystem. For example, they will connect with roots of different plants. They do this for the benefit of sharing resources and sending warning signals. This ties into Minecraft when you think about how I mentioned before that mushrooms and giant mushrooms aren't only found in the mushroom islands, but other biomes as well. Why do you think that is? Mushrooms cannot make their own sugars due to their lack of chlorophyll not allowing them to go through photosynthesis. Going back to the idea that mushrooms are heterotrophic, they need to gain these nutrients they lack from other organisms. While they can do this parasitically, they also have the ability to use the wood wide web to give resources to plants in exchange for the sugars they cannot make. This is known as the mycorrhizal fungi, where they have a symbiotic relationship with other organisms. So when you're in your Minecraft world and you find these red and brown mushrooms in other biomes such as the swamp or old grove taiga, know that mushrooms are interacting with other plants. Then what the heck are mushroom cows? Mushroom cows were introduced to Minecraft at the same time as the mycelium during the 1.9 pre-release. These are one of the more rare mobs in Minecraft due to only spawning in the mushroom islands, which as we've reviewed, are also rare. Mushroom cows are, simply put, a mushroom-covered variant of the Minecraft cow retextured with red and white coloring, and sometimes even brown coloring. Coloring aside for now, the main difference between the Minecraft cow and the Minecraft mushroom cow is the mushroom sprouting on the back of the mushroom cow. In the real world, believe it or not, this has been seen before on smaller organisms, like insects. The way this happens is with a different feeding strategy, the parasitic strategy. 
This is when the fungus needs nutrients they cannot produce themselves. However, they do not gain these nutrients through mutualism, but by harming off of other living organisms, feeding off of these hosts. Fungi, for example, the cordyceps fungus, sticks onto the exoskeleton of an insect. It will then grow inside of the insect and start to take control of the insect's behaviors and movements. Once the fungus takes control of the movements of the infected insect, it will move the insect to a plant or twig with a greater surface area and a good place for the fungus to reproduce. After the insect dies, the fungus produces fruiting bodies, small mushrooms, and start to sprout out of the abdomen of the insect, which is crazy, right? Now, the parasitic fungus is transferred by spores dispersing themselves in the air and penetrating through their prey. Mushroom cows live in the mushroom islands, so they are constantly surrounded by these fungi. And obviously, the mushroom cow is alive. I predict that the fungi has taken a hold of the movement and behavior of these mushroom cows. However, it doesn't kill the mushroom cow to use the movement of the mushroom cow to help continue the dispersal of these spores from the fungi, spreading the spores to gain more and more of the nutrients that they lack. How? Well, because the parasite is transferred via spores in the air. Each normal Minecraft cow found on or around the mycelium is exposed to these spores, turning them into mushroom cows. But young mushroom cows don't have mushrooms on their back. That is correct. They do not. I hypothesize that this is because after breeding two mushrooms, the fungus is bred into the DNA of the newborn calves, but stays dormant until they mature into adulthood. Once matured, the parasitic fungus will then start to activate within the cow, which will then start the blooming of the fruiting mushroom bodies, the loss of ability to control oneself, and finally allow the parasitic fungus to feed off of the nutrients within their bodies that they personally cannot possess. I hypothesize that the mushroom cow is a species of cow infected with parasitic fungus, causing the mushrooms to grow out of their backs and slowly losing their abilities to control their behaviors and movements. The more they eat the mycelium and mushrooms, which would be their only food source, the more the mushrooms will grow and regrow onto their back. Living on the mushroom island so long has almost embedded the DNA of the parasite into the cows, making them live on as essentially one organism. But the parasitic fungus doesn't harm or help the player. Well, actually, this is also untrue. If by chance a mushroom cow gets struck by lightning, it then becomes a light brown mushroom cow, similar to the design from Minecraft's brown mushrooms instead of the red and white. If you feed this cow a flower, then click on the cow with an empty bowl as if getting mushroom stew, you get potion effects. Now these could be good, like healing, saturation, or speed, but the effects could also be negative, like weakness, wither, or even blindness. This process in Minecraft is similar to eating a random mushroom found on the ground in real life. They could give you nutrition, give you a boost to your immune system, but they can also give you hallucinations, kidney failure, and much more. Which then brings me to my hypothesis. I hypothesize that the mushroom cow was originally a normal species of cow who habited an island which slowly became infested with parasitic mycelium which started sprouting these mushrooms, big and small. Since the parasitic fungus transfers through the spores in the air, once surrounded by mycelium, the cows went under a transformation where the parasitic fungi started to grow and eventually take control over the cow. And eventually after that, the entire species found on the island. Which is why when a cow is found on mycelium, they turn into mushrooms. The island has been infested with mycelium for so long that the cows just continue to live and breed on this island, forever bound to the parasitic fungus. And as for mushrooms found in other biomes, I hypothesize that these mushrooms are not parasitic and are saprophytic. They have a symbiotic relationship with the trees, grass, and other plants around them, playing their part in the wood wide web and exchanging the resources they've made for sugars they cannot make themselves. Minecraft is a very large world, growing more and more diverse with every update. But with these updates come more and more of a playground for scientific principles waiting to be explored. Thank you guys so much for watching Minecraft Science. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the scientific world within this world of blocks. 
make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!